Hello students myself Mrs Sabina Pathan welcomes you all to my YouTube channel SVP class dear students we are at the second chapter of our OCM subject that is functions of management in this video we are going to study importance of staffing function of management so do watch the entire video to understand each and every point and do not forget to like share subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of the latest videos so let's begin with today's topic dear students before beginning with the importance of staffing i would like to give a small recap of meaning of staffing staffing relates to the recruitment selection training and development of the managerial personnel it is a process of finding right employee at right job with right pay even this is the basic principle of staffing which organization needs to be followed in the management function staffing would come as a third step next to planning and organizing but staffing is a continuous function of management as long as the organization exists there is a need of an appointment of employees for various positions students we have already discussed meaning and definition of staffing in detail in the earlier video i have shared a link in the description box do watch the earlier video too to understand the topic more precisely now let us begin with today's topic here we will study what is the importance of staffing see there are some points which explains us importance of staffing first one effective managerial function second it leads to effective utilization of human resources builds cordial relationship fourth one is helps human resource development helps in effective use of technology and other resources is improves efficiency seventh long term effect essential contribution provides job satisfaction and maintains harmony now let us study all the points one by one in detail first point is effective managerial function it is a key to effective performance of other functions of management such as planning organizing directing and controlling outcome of other function is based on the effectiveness of staffing here staffing is one of the most effective managerial function because if an organization does not have competent workforce it can't perform other functions of management properly there is a need of efficient workforce to work effectively in different areas like production finance sales etc therefore there is a need of appointing right person at right position with right pay for various positions in the organization second point is it leads to effective utilization of human resources here proper care is taken at every stage such as recruitment selection placement remuneration training development etc and excessive burden of work is avoided optimum utilization of human resources results in improvement in performances and progress of organization here in staffing function more importance is given on human resources for its effective utilization while appointing an employee proper care is taken at every stage during selection placement remuneration etc 
Even work is to be assigned to employees by studying their fatigue level and efficiency level so that excessive burden is reduced. So if there is a proper utilization of human resources, it leads to improved performance as well as organizational growth. Third point is builds cordial relationship. It is helpful in building healthy relationships among all levels of employees in the organization. A smooth human relation is the key to better communication and coordination of managerial efforts in an organization. See, there are so many employees working in the organization from top level to lower level. Effective staffing helps to create friendly atmosphere in the organization. Proper utilization of workforce builds healthy working environment which leads to better communication among employees as well as better coordination between them. Thus, staffing builds cordial relationship in the organization. Fourth point is helps human resource development. Here, skilled and experienced employees is an asset of a business organization. It inculcates the organizational culture into employees and trains and develops the existing workforce as well. It also ensures smooth functioning of all the managerial aspects of the business organization. Here, it means skilled, experienced and highly qualified employees are always an asset or they are very valuable human resource for business organization. Staffing also inculcate good moral values among them, train the employees as per need and develops the available workforce. Thus, training and development of human resources leads to smooth functioning of business organization. Fifth point is helps in effective use of technology and other resources. Trained employees can use the latest technology, capital, material and method of work effectively which helps in building competitive strength of the organization. It is also helpful in improving standard of work and productivity in terms of quality and quantity. Here, if the employees are trained properly for using latest technology, material and standard method of work, it helps in building competitive strength of the organization. By using new and updated technology and methods, organization can lead in a modern competitive business world. Standard method of work and updated technology improves the quality and quantity of production. Sixth point is improves efficiency. Training and development programs are offered to the employees for self-development and organizational development. Through proper selection, the organization gets quality employees and through proper training, the performance level of the employees can be improved. Here, employees are given continuous training about new technology to improve their performance. It develops the employee as well as organization. Proper selection process gives quality employee and if they are given training, their performance level gets improved. So, if all employees are efficient in the organization, organization also become efficient and leads to growth and success. Seventh point is long-term effect. Qualified, efficient and skillful workforce is always an asset of the organization. Proper selection of employees leads the organization towards the path of success. Naturally, long-term positive effects can be observed on the efficiency of an organization. 
here the organization can become successful only because of efficient workforce in the organization therefore proper selection of employee is very important to get long term positive effect that is growth and success of business organization eighth point is essential contribution here staffing ensure the continuity and growth of the organization through development of employees selection is based on the ability of the prospective employees so that organization can meet the future challenges wisely therefore the contribution of the staff in their future roles is taken into account in staffing function see selection of employee is one of the important task for the organization efficient and skillful employees must be selected so that they can able to cope up with the future challenges wisely therefore staffing has an essential contribution in the continuity and growth of the organization ninth point is provides job satisfaction employees can be motivated through financial and non financial incentives see employees are motivated by monetary incentives means higher salary or wages and non monetary incentives means gift or reward employees ch child care plan various allowances etc all this helps to motivate employee to work better for the organization adequate remuneration increases job satisfaction and morale of the employees here attractive salary packages boost up employees morale they remain in the organization for a longer time and training and development programs fair remuneration and job security are the factors which are important in providing job satisfaction last point is it maintains harmony in staffing process individuals are recruited selected and placed as well as their performance is regularly appraised and promotions are given on the basis of merit for this criteria is made and duly communicated to concerned employees which brings peace and harmony in organization see in the organization employees performances are evaluated and on the basis of evaluation they are to be appraised and promoted for promoting employees criteria is pre planned and communicated with employees to maintain peace and proper understanding and to maintain coordination between them i hope all points of importance of staffing is clear to you all i have shared a link in the description box to solve the questions based on this topic solve the questions and get the immediate result of your test dear students please do like share subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of the latest videos thank you for watching and stay connected with me for more videos